And welcome back to another mystery-filled episode of Why Not Play. I'm Mike. And I'm Pedro. And now, I think it's time we figure out what that tree has. I think it's a red berry. I think it's blue. There you go! Yep, I was right. Uh... Mm, HP... I don't want to get rid of syrup. It's actually not useful. Why not get rid of a yellow berry? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, no. Holy shit! Hey, if, I, if I wanted a yellow berry, I would have grabbed the yellow berry. Oh, I need, yeah, I need the two blueberries actually. Now that I think about it. I'm surprised you didn't run up to. To grab the the super uh, upgrade, because mm. I'll get on the way back. Eh, I guess that's true. No, I don't need this. Then again, I think you're just waiting to see if you get another uh, another buddy in this area. Uh, and it's like, oh hey, I think there's something missing here. I think we're supposed to have some water here. Nah, I think that. You know what that probably is? What? That's probably the the designated dirt pit. Where you just throw a shit ton of dirt in there and they probably just soak in there like a mud bath style. Nah. They can't and then they, and then they use it so that they can relax and then they grow. Ooh! Oh. Jam and jelly. So about not using that maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> You go for it every fucking time! Not on purpose. Oh, what's wrong, little flower? Oh, oh he looks so he looks so sad. What a tragedy. Oh, this can't be happening to me. No, it can't. Not not to Lily. He must be Bob. Huh? Somebody! The horrible thing that rides the clouds took our precious water stone! Ah. Uh. Water flows from that magical water stone. That reminds me of an episode of Actions of Samurai Jack, actually. Seriously? Yeah, I'll, I'll go on about it later. Without it, the spring will never recover. Oh, and I'll wither up if I can't float on the water. Oh, woe is me. I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither. Poor Lily! Oh, no! Don't give up, Lily! Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon. Oh, he is handsome. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the prince! Oh! He's actually... <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, he actually looks more like a plumber. But beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! My name is Yip Lily. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in this spring. <laughs> What's spring? Um... To tell you the truth, I have, I have to ask you to do me a favor. Could you please get my water stone back from that horrible cloud creature? Don't, don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Okay. Oh, you're a dream come true. Thank you so much. The water stone looks just like this. Take a picture. Please find it. Winky face. <laughs> but I need water. <laughs> but yeah. So, there was a... I don't know if it was... I think it was a, probably a season 2 episode or some shit. But there was an episode of Samurai Jack where there was a city that it, it was... It literally felt like a fucking homage to like films from like the 1930s where you have the fucking mobsters and shit. Yeah. And uh, and there is this uh mob that wanted to do this big score where they grabbed uh, where they grabbed this uh gem, which had the power to create and release water, and Aku, Aku for the longest time wanted to get it, but that but that stone was actually guarded by three uh spirits that represented nature, so that I think there was like. I think it was literally earth, wind, and fire. 
and they literally beat the fuck out of Aku every time, so he just gave up on that shit. So, whoa. Yeah, he actually gave up on it. And then Jack actually went into the fucking tower, stole the gem, literally, literally beat the three elements, and he used that as their bargaining chip to get an audience with him, so that Jack could literally run up and fucking just kill Aku right then and there. And he was this close. He could have ended it right there. You wanna know what happened? What? Uh, the fucking group that he was working with, or the mob group, yeah. they were literally bewildered at the fact that Jack was fighting Aku, and then they were like, ah, Jack, he's gotta stop it. If he don't, Aku is gonna destroy him. And literally, when, right when Jack was about to get the death blow, BAM! Literally got hit in the back of the head with a cinder block. Jesus. All because they wanted to save their good friend Jackie. They wanted to save yes, him? Yes, they wanted- they thought he was going to die by Aku's hands. They weren't the brightest group. No, But Kevin, man, were they fucking endearing. They were- they sound like they're just a good <laughs> like amount they, of slapstick like they, comedy. They, they were good old slapstick mobsters. They even had that old ass accent where it's like, Ah, here's the plan, Jackie, see? Literally. Oh, and the music in that episode was so fucking good, too. It really takes me back. I feel like I'm legit grinding for free coins. Oh. I mean... Oh, whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! It's okay, though. Wait. Oh, oh there you go. They all have six. Ugh. Well, actually more like nine. Because they took- the first one took four and then took five. Oh yeah, that's right. What am I thinking? Because I keep forgetting about the fact that you, in most of these cases, you end up fucking Hitting getting a free first. hit off. Yeah. Then again, what do you care? You're Mario. Fuck. This is a terrible time to go on the nap, Mario. What are you talking about? He needs his beauty sleep. Bo can handle it. Bo needs to go slap a hoe. Exactly. <laughs> he looks so happy. Too bad he's about to get hit. No, I'm talking about the flower. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's about to get hit too, but... But Mario just looks like he doesn't have a care in the world. Oh, I mean, you gotta remember, this guy literally is going all over the world, multiple times. He's going- Going after the princess, trying to save her from the next plot of M Bowser. Bowser. Even though it feels like Peach could probably handle herself huh. perfectly fine. Who do I want to upgrade? <laughs> Perry Carry, Watt, or Goombario. <laughs> Damn, this is a tough choice. <laughs> Either Perry Carry or what? Perry Carry. <laughs> no fucking love. No love to your first friend who's your fucking fanboy. What? Who? I'll be relevant eventually, right, Mario? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Doesn't he get the ability to charge? Charge, and then, uh, I think there was one other ability, but I, it has been too long. I have fucking forgotten. Come on, let's go. Thank you. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess he only goes an exact distance. Yes, he does. My bad. <laughs> can't keep doing this page. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Alright, that was bullshit. I legit jumped. You walked to the edge. And I jumped. I pressed jump. Man, my gear controller's stupid. <laughs> it's all your controller's fault. The, the platforming's OP. Please nerf Nintendo. 
please. Oh god, uh, you know, I, I, I think... Where was the blue? I think I actually... No, no, he was in the middle one. Okay. What was up top again? I don't know. I don't... Isn't that where the crystal tree is? No, no. Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, I That's need the, bubble. the bubble berry. I need the bubble berry. Bubble, 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 but uh, bubble. I actually think that I fucking scarred people yesterday. Like what? So, so you already know about how uh, how uh, Blizzard's doing a free Overwatch weekend uh -huh. for people to try it out to celebrate the one year anniversary of the game and how it's Yay. such a great success with over a hundred awards for Game of the Year. So, uh, there's a, a friend of ours who, uh, who decided to jump in to see how the game is. And because of the fact that, because of the fact that he literally started off in the game, it gave us, uh, it gave us a lower quality queue on a group, um, being paired against other players. Yeah. So me, being like a decently high level player in the game, it, it's matching me up against fucking 10s, 11s, like literally people who picked the game up just for this fucking weekend event. Yeah. And it got, and it just got worse. It got worse to the point where fucking me, Nat, Joe, and then like one other person, like literally a fucking five-man team got together and we fucking just, we kept getting paired up against low-level players and we were destroying them and I just kept using Bastion and I just kept looking on as they would just run through cho choke points and I would just, <laughs> I would just mow them down. And it got to the point where we made other stupid meme uh, things work. Yeah. Like Joe made attack Tobjorn work, and then we had a low level player pop up in there. The next game that we were queuing up for, that low level player with us, <laughs> literally picked Tobjorn on attack, and I'm just like, you've there we go. You've inspired him, Joe. We we inspired we inspired a bunch of these people to pick like the most cancerous <laughs> picks. <laughs> In the most fucked up situation. You guys are terrible people. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're great people. <laughs> Not even teaching these people to pick proper. <laughs> no, no, no. Just use these cancer people. Just because you know how to play these characters. <laughs> Just because we know how to play them better. <laughs> than all these other beginners. <laughs> I just felt like a giant bully. At the very least. At the very least, Karma eventually came back at us. Yeah. When uh, the last game that we played, it actually paired us against decently level player characters, uh, and then they fucking they floored us. Like they beat our asses in like a pair of bungalow drums. Damn. That's how bad it was. Jesus. But I could I I couldn't fault that. It's like we spent fucking almost two hours shitting on <laughs> shitting on kids and new players. Jesus, man, you guys are horrible people. <laughs> this was earlier today? No, this was, uh, night? this was last night. So that was one of the reasons why I didn't watch, uh, Toonami yesterday, because it's just like, you know, I could be watching the, the marathon of Samurai Jack Season 5, which I've already seen, or I could have fun with my friends and fucking, <laughs> and fucking queue up against low-level players. <laughs> You against noobs, break them in the. I mean, I I didn't expect it to happen. I honestly, I honestly thought that by being grouped up with me, I would have fucking brought this kid up to higher level players. Evidently not. No, no. It worked. Evidently it worked in not. your favor. <laughs> well, with uh, with all that being said, I think it's time once again to say goodbye, my friends. We're gonna so, go ahead and uh, call this an episode. So, uh, let us know how much of a piece of shit you think I am by giving us a like or dislike. <laughs> or a comment just letting us know, Mike, you're an ass. <laughs> Subscribe if you want. And hit that bell, because we, we post up two videos every single day. We got social media links in the description, and we try to stream every Tuesday. 
So, with all that being said, I hope you weren't one of my victims on that fucking <laughs> bloody battlefield. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care, everybody.